Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the SGA mod. And a fine welcome back indeed, this time no blood moons, no rain, no storms, no trials and tribulations, at least yet anyway. Just a beautiful sunrise coming up over the mountains back there. Beautiful mountain peaks that I never really ever take a look at, you know what I mean? Just kind of sit back and admire the scenery, the dirt patches back there. There's some houses going on back there, I think. I guess that's probably a barn, maybe. Can't really see it because I'm in the way, but there's another guy back there doing his own separate Let's Play on a completely different part of the map, which is fine. How's it going, How's over, it there? going over there? He said it's fine. You couldn't hear him, but I can because I'm closer, you know what I mean? But anyways, welcome back to the SGA mod. You fine fellows and fillets out there. And today we've got a lot of business to get into, and uh, I could probably almost guarantee that there will be no short video today. Because on the menu this time is Skeletron and the Dungeon. So we're gonna go over there and kick some butt, and then after that it looks like we got some more mod content, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, I've got a couple of things that I've done off camera that I would like to show you. Um, they're not actually like item crafting or anything like that though, because there wasn't a whole lot to get. The queen bee and the jungle itself doesn't really offer a whole lot much. Doesn't offer a whole lot much. That's words, I think. Kinda, sorta. But yeah, the majority of the things that I've done off camera are things that I've built. The main thing I'd like to show you over here is what I like to call... Ballman's Jungle Reclamation Project. And it's basically just a, a man-made jungle that I decided to enclose. Well, not really man-made, but here it is right here. It's kind of sort of man-made. I wanted to make sure that I at least had some kind of a jungle over here. So I got to actually activate these fountains, but I was utilizing the Fargo's fountains in order to actually kind of make this place a jungle. I enclosed it in here, put a uh, separator down there, that's stone slabs, and I just kind of let the surface be the surface. Used to be a big tunnel down here and a big entrance into the underground corruption, but we got rid of that. This is kind of what I've done in my downtime in between videos here, as I kind of save my jungle a little bit, at least the surface anyway. The underground, there's so much of it there that I'm not really worried about it. I'll probably just end up making, uh, I don't know, setting up teleporters or something like that to try to make it somewhat uh, usable. Okay, anyways, going back here, and then I just made a little fishing area down here was the only thing I did. Put a bunch of water fountains down there and just use the water that's already down there in the uh, city buster crater down there. So with that done, that's pretty much it. There's not really anything else that I've done off camera. It certainly helps to have a lot of uh, valuable fishing resources there. Very necessary, gonna help with building all these extra potions. Not that I'm really gonna need them right now. I'm pretty powerful, but later on down the line could be handy. So yes, now it's off to deal with Skeletron. I built myself up a little base over here, kind of uh, done a lot of terraforming. That's what the off-camera stuff has been a lot of lately. It's been a whole lot of terraforming and a lot of constructing of valuable structures. So I took care of building an arena over here and I put a little base over there to spawn myself in. And of course I added a sharpening station, which I really haven't been using. I've been neglecting that. I've had access to it since Fargo's Lumberjack showed up. He kind of sneaked his way in off camera, but I just haven't been using it because I am just, you know, I don't do melee, so I don't think about things like that. But having this thing, just our wide variety of multi-purpose caliburns, our Swiss Army caliburn here. I ought to have some armor penetration with it, that'd be pretty nice. Unfortunately, I haven't got an ammo box, and I am planning on transitioning to Ranger at some point. But for now, let's just run all the way across spawn here and try to get over to my Skeletron arena. I don't even know why I'm bothering to be in a hurry right now. There's nothing over here. There you go. Nice gigantic Skeletron arena. I may end up using this for a lot of different things, but here we go. My spawn area. We'll clink up real quick, and we just wait very patiently for it to finally be nightfall. As you can see, I've done some preliminary explorinating down here. Bet you can't guess what happens when I get down to this part. Big mystery, I know. But for now, we patiently await the old man to finally decide to allow me to fight Skeletron. Very, very patiently. And here we go, it's finally nighttime, so without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, defeat my master, I'll grant you passage to the dungeon, Skeletron, my man. Nice to see ya. We're gonna use the power of the Caliburns on ya. My god, look at that. There is just no more hands. Skeletron, your hands are done. Oh my god. You can even use this one. Not really as quick, but it's fine. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this even does a good amount of damage to his head. Ah, no, 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 no. It does a good amount of damage to me, too. I hate getting stuck in his head so much. It's terrible. This is gonna be one of those, uh, I get a little bit too overconfident in my abilities here, and we end up getting ourselves myrtleated which is not fun for anybody. Come on, there we go. Now we gotta use the machine gun on his face. Here we go, here we go. Get ran right out of our arena by this guy. I'd rather get ran out of the arena and have to run myself back in than uh, get murdered in five seconds by the big bad man. 
There we go. Come on. I got the swirly going out at the same time. I got my sparks fly, and I'm using multiple caliburns at a time. Two for one caliburns. Come on. Give me your hands. Let me see your hands. There you go. Come on. Let me see your hands. There you go. Hands are got. The hands are got. Might have to use a little bit of something at range here and then switch to the melee. There we go. Now we're going to do the big damage to him. The big damage. There we go. An apocalypse to go with the last second. That's what I'm talking about. Run. Run away. Run away very fast. Come on. There we go. Come on, bonehead. Let's go. Don't fire till you see the white of his eye sockets. There we go. Now we're taking him down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how you play the game. Come on. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Yeah. Hit him. Long range go. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Style right there. And with that, ladies and gents, Skeletron has been defeated. So let's see what we got from him. Probably a whole bunch of nothing. Would you look at that Demon Eye banner? Isn't that special? Treasure bag? What do we got in there? The Book of Skulls. Oh, boy. So excited. It's so good. Such a good weapon. That's what you need to mod for. I've been seeing a lot of videos about mods for, like, phase sabers and whatnot. That's what we really need. We need a Book of Skulls that's not trash. And with that, we can head back to base and see if any of these guys sell anything different. Doesn't really look like anything about the world changed. Maybe it just doesn't say anything. I don't know. The next boss on the list is mod stuff, but I don't know. We'll find out later. For now, let's go back to base and see if any of these NPCs sell anything new, and then we'll go down into the dungeon. All right. Home sweet home. Draken, you got anything new for me? No? Doesn't look like it? Wow. Okay. That's a shame. All right. Well, I guess besides him, I don't really know of anybody that would sell anything new. Any new stuff from any of you guys? Daniel? No, nothing from you. Oh, I can buy some illegal gun parts and make one of these things here soon. Uh, I'll get one. I don't really think I can make any of this stuff right now. I can't make any of those. Trigger finger potion. Wow. Okay, that's pretty nice. Flail and aids. That sounds exciting. Can't make that for a while. No, I can make a dart gun if I wanted to, though. Dart trap gun. Tactical SMG. Gatla pillar. Can't make that yet. Okay, well, uh, that's that then, I suppose. Just take one of those and throw it in there, and then we're off to the dungeon. Hey, look, it's that guy. Hello, that guy. Enigma, how's it going? Got any overseen crystal to trade quietly, preferably away from others? Uh, no, I actually have no idea what those even are, to be honest with you, but okay. Thanks for the chat, bud. Glad to see you don't sell anything of value. All right, now off to the dungeon to commence the long farming. The longest farming ever farmed when farming was farming. Oh, I'm going into this melee, too. I'm going to get slapped around in there so much. At least they have weapons that can go through walls. That's definitely going to make things a lot smoother. Pretty tight, cramped quarters in there. Could always use explosives, but they have a tendency of firing back at me. Oh, look, more Eskimo pants. I think that's like the third pair of those that I've gotten today. All these zombies really want to give me their pants. That's disgusting. Don't do that. Have some self-respect, please. All right, in we go. Let's deposit all of our stuff in there, kind of clear out our inventory space a little bit. Nice empty inventory. It'd do me some good here. Okay. I think we're about as good to go as Goken good, so let's head on inside. I think I got my spawn point set. Yes, okay, we're good. I remember to do all the important things. Now we can explore the insides. Hey, look. Wow. When did that happen? Ha ha ha. Moving on along here. So water candles are going to be valuable. I'm going to need those. I think I need to make that uh, war horn or whatever now. Pretty sure I can make that from Fargo's. Increase spawn rate times 10. That'll make farming very easy. Completely eliminates the need to make a spawn room. Which I guess I could do anyway and then use that inside of it, which would be real exciting. Golden key already. We like it. I like the luck already. Probably should have grabbed the danger sense or something down here. I can't imagine with all the focus on traps in this mod so far. It might be exciting. Okay, so we got a shadow key already. That's good. We can cross that off the list. Ah! I don't think so. Oh, look at that. Ice already. Get out of here. Back to the depths, you boneheaded menace. Can't you see I'm one of you? I am too a bonehead. The bonehead tribe. A bonehead land. Oh, wow, look at that. Alchemy station already as well. Would you look at that? We are getting all kinds of luck right now. And uh, I can't help but notice not a whole lot of enemies are spawning right now, but I'm going to regret saying that. I know I will. Hey, look, mechanic as well. Jenny. Jenny, how you doing? Get out of here. Get back. Your giblet's here. Got a spanner. Activates wired devices without wires. Hmm. I have no idea what I could do with that, but uh, could be valuable, I guess. All right, come on now. Let's get the keys right there. There's a water bolt. We've gotten that as well. It doesn't look like it's valuable for anything, though. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, how's it going? Get out of here. Let's get rid of these on the ground. I will not abide them on the ground. I can deal with them on the wall. I can kind of sort of avoid them up there, but I will not tolerate them on the ground. See, zooming in for this is definitely handy. I started doing this with the Lizard Temple. I'm going to do it with the dungeon as well. Kind of gives you a better perspective. Reduces my ability to see, kind of, sort of. But it definitely, uh, what are you? What is that thing? Whoa. What? What is that thing? Strange portal? Okay. That's something. 
Um, can you hold on for just a second and not rip open gateways to alternate dimensions just yet? God, what is it? Should I go in? Is this something I go into? Okay. Do I... What is this? Do I... Oh, do you enter? Highest floor completed. Okay. Um, sure. Woo. Okay. Oh. Oh! Deeper dungeons? What is this? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I found a little, uh, mini game here. That's fine. Oh, I can take water candles with me. That's good. Um, is, are we looking at, like, obstacle courses here? Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Ah. Imps. Oh, I like this. This is cool. A little, like, little side dungeon to go exploring around inside of? That is neat. That is really neat. Okay, well, we'll keep zoomed in, though. What is this? I can't break any of these. Maybe I gotta, like, uh, I gotta wait or something like that. I gotta, like, actually defeat the dungeon first before I can break the blocks inside of it. Which would be handy, I suppose. Can't break any of the blocks in here, though. I know that. A lot of valuables, though. A lot and lots of chests. Oh, look, there's some ice over there as well. An icy dungeon. That's kind of cool looking. Traps galore. What is that? Chaos caster. Okay. That's a little bit new. Shame I can't break any of these, though. Be nice if I could. Oh my, look at all that. Well, I've got a full inventory already. None of it's really dungeon stuff, so... Um, we will just deposit all. Yeah, bats. We don't like bats. Bad bats. Oh, there's a portal. A stranger portal. It was already strange before, but now it's really strange. Now it's gonna just borderline weird. So does this just, like, not end? Does it keep going on and on and on forever here? Oh, there's a stone barrier staff. Summons a stone golem to project an auric barrier around the player. Aura weapons affect all around the player, friend and foe alike. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Interesting. So, blessing of the dryad. Okay, so it affects all of us here, which is good, I suppose. Okay, this is cool. I like it. So do I just... I have this permanently now? Does this ever... Does this just not end? Lasts forever? Oh, there's here something I gotta have a key for. I don't have that. I have no key. Ouch. All I've got is pain. Oh, a little jungly down here as well. I think I've got pretty much all this. There's an obsidian rose. That's valuable, I guess. Valuable, valuable for a life flower. I can make a lava charm out of this. But the life flower, you can see healing potion instead of dying when taking fatal damage. Effects of the obsidian rose, and that can be used to make the... Life Force Quintessence, which I need a Mana Flower, Life Flower, and a Restoration Flower, which is made of a Restoration Potion and Jungle Flower. Okay. All right. Well, I just need a Life Force Potion, and then I'm good to go, but I can't get that for a while. Or no, I think I actually can. I can get those from the Underworld as a rare drop from a from a chest, I think, right? Okay. Sure, we'll do that. Oh, wow. There is so much going on in just this one floor here. Do I need to, like, speed run this? Is that something I'm supposed to be doing? There's a Shadow Chest. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, so hearts of the cards. Cooldown stack times an almighty cards are reduced by half. What are almighty cards? I don't have any of that business. Hold on a second. Let me read here. I'm going to put auto pause on. I said, see, they're not going to be friendly. Cooldown stack times an almighty cards are reduced by half. You have a chance to pull a joker whenever you use a card. Jokers steal one of your hearts and enter your inventory. Successfully using a card causes you to get your hearts back. Looking cool, joker. Okay. That's different. And there's that life force potion. So I could make that, uh, that quintessence right there. Consume healing potions instead of dying when taking fatal damage. Mana potions is needed. Effects of the Ascidian Rose, Restoration Flower, and 5% reduced mana cost. That sounds pretty good for survivability. I need Ethereum mana. So there's actually a recipe for that, and that makes the, uh, whatever that thing is. Okay, well, that's good. Um, Shadow Lockbox? Oh, I just am just getting handed Underworld weapons right now. Okay. Cool, I suppose. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh my god, I actually have to break through these. Eh, come on. I weigh enough. Let's go. Let me down. All right, fine. Gotta go the hard way. Oh, there's nothing down there anyway. I'm doing all that for nothing. Ha ha! Big surprise. I know. Oh, good. Hellbats as well. That's good. I like seeing Hellbats. I like having to fight underworld enemies as well. Oh, and my inventory is full already? No? Okay. I thought it was for a second. All right, am I finally done with this here? Is there any more rooms? It looks like there may be something down here. I want to get all the good stuff. This is something I could get lost in. I really could. No, it was nothing. Okay, anything at all? Any other pathways? Does anybody see anything? I don't know why I'm asking you guys that. That could be something. Is that cobwebs? No, those are spikes. Okay, looks like that's my maximum there. Okay, well, let's head on out, I guess. Run back to the portal and get out of here. Enter floor two. Oh, can I not get out? Or is there, like, a way back or anything like that? 
Okay, uh, maybe I'm stuck here. I may be trapped inside this place and I can't get out until I finally uh, escape here. Oh my god, yeah, this is definitely something I could get lost in forever. I'm like at the absolute maximum like height of the world here. A lot of cobwebs around, I see. Dungeon slime up there. Come here. Come back. Get back. Come back. Come back. Yeah. Get back here. Give me your keys, man. Give me your keys. There we go. Unlocked and deviant shot means I can fight him whenever I want now. Oh god, there's like new enemies spawning down here too. It's not just regular dungeon stuff anymore. I think I saw that guy running pretty quick. What are you? Angry Bones. You're same old, same old. I know I saw something new though. I don't know where it is. Golden lockbox there. I guess I can get dungeon stuff from this. I guess this is a nice alternative to having to run around through the dungeon to get everything. What is that? Enchanted Fury. Primary fire shoots a sword that erupts stars on kill. Alt fire rains stars down from the heavens. 1.1 Star Fury style. Oh, wow. That is cool. But uses mana, though, unfortunately. I got another Sun Fury as well. Okay. Well, I got uh, a big swinger. Run away. Watch out. Yeah, I missed. Come here. Yeah, I missed again. Come on, bat. Yeah, but come on now. This is silly. There we go. I got gotcha. you. Ha ha. You were laughing at me, weren't you? Now who's laughing? Not you. Ah, okay, okay. I am actually in trouble right now. I have a lot of stuff. Dragon's Might Potion. I think I saw one of those before. I can't remember. I got a lot of stuff here. Stone Barrier, come here. Bone Welder, I don't really need that. Oh my god. I may have to make uh, multiple trips. I'm kind of upset that I can't just run back and forth here. Guess there wouldn't be any challenge if I could leave whenever I wanted to, though. Ah, what was that? I think that was that thing that I was talking about before. Ah! Okay, we're good. I thought I was doomed there for a second. Maybe I should have let myself fall so I can escape. Oh, look, there we go. There's another one right there. Stranger Portal. Floor three. Come on now, man. All right, I guess we're just going to go on to three. I don't know how low. Oh, wow, okay. That's fine. Just going to drop me right in on here. Condensing Potion helps deal with overhealing, allowing you to perform more actions. An additional free cooldown stack over all new cooldown stacks are 15% longer. I suppose that'll come in handy later, so we'll take it. Moving on around here. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, maybe this isn't a way out. Maybe this is just a, a way further in. Ah, God. My God, that's a lot of, of things flying at my face all at once. It says, how many darts do you want flying at his face? I don't know how many we got. Send that many. I wonder if there's like mini bosses or anything down here. It kind of makes me wonder. There's some new enemies, but I haven't seen anything like unique unique yet. I can only imagine how exciting this is going to be in hard mode. That and uh, that dungeon and me, we don't really get along so good. Oh, this isn't uh, part of that. I was wrong. This is actually its own separate thing. The maps just changed. Okay. Well, um, I think for the sake of progression here and the fact that my inventory is already absolutely filled to the brim, I may just clear this floor and then we're going to call it a day. Have some dynamite down there, why don't you? There we go, another one of those. Same old, same old. Enchanted Fury. Uh, I'm probably not going to need them both. Flower of Fire. My god, I'm not going to need to do any exploration whenever I get down to the underworld. Alright, so I'm going to chew through this stuff, and then I'm just going to die. If the next portal does not take me out of here, I'm going to take myself out of here. Huh, I think that was a pretty short one. Unless I really missed a pathway, it looks like I'm done already. Yeah, I think I got it all. Okay, well, let's see where this goes then. Hopefully out of here. Floor 4. I think that's taking me down. Down, down, down we go. Yep, I think this is it. Okay, well, the <laughs> as much fun as running through these corridors is, I actually really am enjoying this. This is cool. I like this kind of gauntlet style here. I could get, I could definitely find a lot of replayability in this, that's for sure. I think I'm just going to let myself die just for the sake of getting back on track here and hopefully not uh, spending too much time working on this in post. You know what I mean? It's going to be a, a long video, like I said. I think there's still a couple more things from the dungeon that I actually need. Not exactly sure, though. A lot of the stuff that I did need from over there, I already got. I didn't get, um... Well, I guess I probably don't need that thing from the Witch Doctor, the, uh... What's it called? I forget what it's called. That that table for summoners, I don't really care about it. I got the alchemy table, and that's what really matters. And a Muramasa. I don't think I ever got one of those. That's something that I'm still in need of. I don't uh, know if I could stumble across one of those down here. I don't know if it'd be faster to go back to try to grab one, or if I could just press on here and eventually just stumble across it by chance. I mean, either way, there's a degree of RNG, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Oh, now I'm getting locked out of the crates. They're not giving me the good stuff that I need here. What is that? Ring of Respite grants an additional free action cooldown stack. Does not stack with items crafted from a Ring of Respite. Well, I'm definitely going to need that. God, there's so much stuff. Platinum bar, don't really need that. Crate potions are valuable. Get out of here. God, I want to end it, but at the same time, I want to keep going. I'm doing all right here. 
I'm at max HP and I'm running around getting it all, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of am concerned a little bit. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to run around up here and I'm going to just get what I can get. And it's going to be like, somebody's going to be out there and say, you know, oh, you missed this really cool, you know, amazing item. You should have went back for it. God. It would uh, super insta-kill one shot everything on a screen a thousand times over and would scar their future generations. What a sword. <laughs> oh, and there we go. It wants me to keep going. I don't want to go deeper. I want to go home. <laughs> Let me out of here. All right, looks like we got to get out of here the old-fashioned way. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, well, it was nice knowing you. I've had enough. We are going to get out of here, and we are going to go home. Oh, yeah, there we go. Freedom, sweet freedom, the sun. Oh, my goodness, I'd forgotten what it looks like. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, get me out of here, why don't you? Get me out of here. I don't know if it, like, freezes time up here on the surface or what, but uh, I swear it was daytime just going to be anyway before I went into that hole of, into nowhere. Did I even get that far into the dungeon? I got like nowhere. That's not even the dungeon. This is the dungeon right here. Look at that. There's another strange portal there already. So I guess it stays in its place. And if I want to go in again, I can just run back to it. Um, I'm probably not going to do that on camera a whole lot. Unless you guys want to see an episode purely dedicated to seeing how far I can go before I get murdered. That could be exciting. But for now, I am definitely going to just deposit all this stuff here. And we are going to uh, see what all we can make out of that. I imagine probably quite a lot. All right, I think that's everything. I'm fairly certain. Now we can see what all I can make out of this stuff. Hopefully a lot of good new things. There's a sand gun and a dart trap gun. I knew I could make that already. That's just the illegal gun parts. Um, there's the necro set, but I don't really know if I'm going to need that. I think I'm kind of liking melee right now. I don't know, unless I get some crazy gun here. Well, we got some new stuff here. Necklace of Nerve and increases life regen and grants an additional free cooldown stack. Mana by 20 and corruption worlds and increased movement speed when struck on crimson worlds. And okay, that's good. I guess we'll grab that, throw that on there. What does that make? Blood Charm Pendant, that is definitely hard mode. Um, that sounds like it could be good. Survivability, I got a lot of survivability stuff, that's for sure. Sandstorm in a bottle. Bundle of balloons, not really that valuable. Yellow horseshoe balloon, I'm gonna need. Any horseshoe balloon. Okay, so I don't really need to worry about making the, uh, any specific kind. Well, I've got that. I just gotta get a balloon and I should be good to go there. I can make the skeleton merchant. Um, good. I guess that's a Fargo's thing. Roiling sludge. Ugro summons the merc. Um, so I don't need to get a killer fly swarm? Oh no, I actually, okay, never mind. So maybe the killer fly swarm comes first and then Merc. Okay, that's for later, though. We'll make that now. We'll put that in there. We'll save it for later. It'll be fine. Throwing star. That actually is a giant throwing star. But um, aside from that, it doesn't really look like there's anything that I need here. Are bones really valuable for anything? Boss summon in an armor set. But aside from that, it doesn't really look like there is anything I can make out of them. Well then, okay. Um, I suppose with that, I guess now's as good as time and any to call it. As good a time in any to call it. That's words. I'm really having trouble with those pesky word things today. But, um, yeah, that was very exciting. That definitely took a turn that I was not expecting. Which is fine, though. That's okay. It's a nice break in the monotony of the typical dungeon grind, which I do pretty much routinely every single Let's Play. It's the same process. Go down, kill stuff, get all the items I need from the chests, and leave. Nice little uh, change of pace there. Yeah, that's nice. I knew there'd be subworlds, I was told. I'm just surprised to come across them right now. But that was fun. I like that. 10 out of 10. I imagine that could be a lot of fun. If you guys want to see an episode of me just running through there um let me know i could definitely do that that looks like it could be exciting to go in there with an empty empty inventory though otherwise i'm gonna have to start dropping stuff off abandoning items that i find but anyways like i said i think i may call it an episode here guys we took down skeletron fairly quickly it was a decent fight and then we explored a new subworld and kind of sort of part of the dungeon which was very exciting but with that like i said i think i'm gonna call it an episode here guys so thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out i really appreciate it and as always whatever it is wherever you are day or night hope you have a good one of those and i will see you in the next video Bye-bye.